Welcome to Everyday Happiness, where we create lasting happiness in about two minutes a day through my signature method of intentional margins, creating harmony between your to-dos and your priorities, happiness science, and musings about life. I'm your host, Katie Jeffcoat, and today I was reading a fascinating article from Very Well Mind, and it led me to what I want to talk to you about today, utilizing emotional validation over toxic positivity. First, let's break it down. Toxic positivity is forced positive thinking when the situation just isn't appropriate. Unlike general positivity, which encourages us to notice the good things in life, toxic positivity comes at the risk of denying our actual emotions or the emotions of others. An example would be when a friend is telling you that they lost their job and you respond with, look at the bright side, or everything happens for a reason. What happens here is that person sharing is invalidated in their feelings of sadness and anger and maybe even guilt. This article explains that emotional validation is when people allow themselves and others to experience their feelings in their entirety and acknowledge that having negative emotions is both real and important. By taking the time to learn, understand, and accept our own emotions and experiences and those of others, we can genuinely process what it is, what is going on. So toxic positivity pushes those feelings aside, never allowing them to be processed and often making someone feel worse for having them in the first place. So how can we practice emotional validation over toxic positivity? First, when someone is telling you about a hardship, take a moment to reflect on what they have said and acknowledge their pain. People want to be listened to. They don't always need an it's going to be okay immediate response. Start by responding with something like, I understand that you feel sad, upset, angry, to really acknowledge their emotions. Second, be supportive and encourage them to elaborate. We never know what's going on in someone else's mind. So encouraging them to be honest and reflect on the situation and their feelings is really critical. And lastly, validate what they are feeling. Validating someone's emotions, even negative ones, can go a long way in their recovery process. By saying things like, I see why you feel that way, and that sounds super tough. Those kind of phrases can support them in their emotional processing. Now, this doesn't mean to egg them on. It is simply to acknowledge what they feel is valid. So until next time, remember, kindness is contagious. Spread a little joy in the world by doing something nice for someone else.